So I'm not doing a uh, cider week this summer or a uh, cooler week, mixed drink week, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Best you're probably going to get is a couple random ones here and there. And we're going to be doing one today. 5.5%, this is the Mott's Clamato Caesar Bacon Vodka. I, I don't know, it was in the clearance section, so <laughs> why not pick it up, right? And oh man, just incredibly friendly text to read, all in white on gray, that's awesome. Water, vodka, tomato paste, glucose, fructose, monosodium, glutamate, vinegar, salt, citric acid, molasses, spices, sugar, onion, anchovies, onion powder, garlic, natural flavor, jalapeno pepper puree, cayenne pepper puree, red chili pepper, dried clam broth, and garlic powder, and color. So actually there's a lot of... Uh, natural ingredients in this which is kind of surprising but this is basically this is a uh, a vodka cooler I guess you could call it um, unlike the US ones where they can't actually put real booze in these things which if you found this in the US I don't know if they have it in the US I, I assume they do it would be a malt beverage of some sort so uh, you know a uh, beer without hops and shit so uh, yeah we're gonna open it up and see what we think. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back with uh, Mott's Clamato Caesar Bacon Vodka. And as you can see, it has got that sort of Clamato color. It's not quite red. It's more, um, well, I don't know. Really dark orange, I guess is maybe the way to say it. Blood orange, I don't know. Definitely not red. It's more, it's close to red, but it's not red. Uh, and it's very cloudy. You can't see through it, so it's got all the natural fucking ingredients in there. You can definitely see the uh, results of it on the uh, sides of the glass. It's got those sort of lumpy legs. It's obviously a little bit vis viscous, like tomato juice, V8 juice. So we'll go right to the smell. Okay, I'll say this, it's got a bacon smell to it. Um, it's got a little underpinning of the sort of Clamato thing going on. Not much of the actual clam juice or anything like that. Much more the vegetable side of it. And then the dominant note is the bacon. It's not a great bacon smell, but it is the bacon. So, we'll go right to the taste. Cheers. That's not good. That is gross. There's this weird acidic thing going on in the back of my throat. Um, it does have a bit of the bacon flavor, but honestly, the flavors are so mashed together that nothing really stands out and it just comes out really bad. There's this weird, weird aftertaste, this acidic aftertaste. It's just really not good. Oh, it tastes like, it's the weirdest thing, I've got this like ice cold, and it still tastes like warm V8 juice, and <laughs> that ain't good. I mean, I've had Bloody Marys, I've had Clamato, I know what it's supposed to taste like, and this just tastes, even with all the natural ingredients in it, it still tastes kind of fake, and um manufactured and who knows it, it might it was on the clearance shelf it might be a bit old in the can even there's there's no real expiration date uh it's just you know fucking production code or whatever but um yeah this isn't good <laughs> this is really not good uh so like i don't give letter grades or number grades of the shit again uh, I just thumbs up or thumbs down thumbs down this is absolute garbage it's a limited edition I think that's probably why it was put on the 
um, clearance shelf because no more of it was coming in and they needed to make room for new products which they have an abundance of this year so yeah this is garbage this gets to be poured out uh, left in the can there well actually I'm gonna give some to my brother <laughs> But this is hot garbage. Ugh. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.